Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Crystal Cruz. We have new details tonight in the arrest of a suspect for a cold case murder in Odessa. We've learned how DNA was used to crack the 38-year-old case. Dana Morris fills us in on the details. An Odessa cold case coming to light after 38 years and an arrest affidavit now paints the picture of what happened. Billy Ludwigson, pictured here at the age of 20, he's now 58 years old and charged with the murder of Velma Nissette. It happened back in 1982. Nissette was found naked and with a stab wound to her neck on the 4200 block of Tanglewood Ave, just a block away from her job at the mall. Evidence was recovered, but no arrests were ever made. Who, who would have known, you know, 30 years ago that that would even be possible? Um, so, but that's why we never give up, we give up with these cases, you know, specifically these homicides and these really serious. Um, you know, violent crime type cases, and we, we just never give up on them. Then according to that affidavit in 2007, during a re-examination of evidence, semen was found on the jacket Nissette was wearing the day she was killed. No suspects were ever matched, though. That is until July 2020, when the affidavit says a new suspect was revealed through investigation. Billy Ludwigson was living in Odessa at the time of the murder, had been arrested twice on unrelated charges, and fit the description of the suspect. Though he now lived in Colorado, so local investigators set out on a mile-high trip, ID'd Ludwigson, and then picked up a cigarette butt that he threw away one day. They tested its DNA, and they found their match. 38 years later, Billy Ludwigson is now facing murder charges for the killing of Velma Nissette. With, with all homicides, there's no statute of limitations, so they're always ongoing. So whether it's 10, 20, 30, 40 years later, uh, we can still make an arrest.